What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. Just today guys, Skyrim Beyond Roscrea was announced and I'm pretty pumped about this because we've played Skyrim Beyond Bruma, which is the first section of Cyrodiil that's been made within Skyrim and you can download it and you can go and adventure around the Bruma hold of Cyrodiil, which is incredible. If you played Oblivion, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen that mod yet, go and check out my playlist in the description because it basically adds a whole new world as big as the Dragonborn DLC into the game. But this video, I want to talk about Beyond Skyrim Roscrea, and I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Probably not because I'm dyslexic. But hey, this looks really cool. Basically, Roscrea is kind of like a secret hidden island on the north north of the Sea of Ghosts, which is north of Skyrim, effectively. I will talk more about the location in a moment and what we know about it. We don't really know anything really about it, so it's going to be quite exciting. Let's have a look at the trailer that was released today, though. Here we go. No ENB. Right. It's classic Skyrim. Got a new soundtrack for this one. So this is one of the ports of one of the cities, I think. It should look quite similar to Skyrim in its setting, because it is very close. Just an island in the middle of the sea, effectively. And look, it, it looks like we have some Nordic ruins as well. Woodlands. Oh, that looks cool. That's very new. Some kind of temple at the top there as well. Maybe some tribes, okay. They've like made houses out of like the upturned boats and stuff. That's really interesting, quite unique. That tree kind of looks like it should be falling over, but it's not. <laughs> Looking good though. Whoa, okay, so another really big city in the mountains here. Ah, uh, oh, okay, look, look, there's a map just there. There's a map, okay, look, you can see, I'll use my mouse here, there's a city by the the lake, no, by the sea, sorry, uh, and there's another one by the sea here, which we might have seen one of these cities, and then we saw the one in the mountains just there. So that's what the map looks like, and I will talk about the size of this in a moment, but it's going to be speculation. Let's carry on watching. Whoa, what the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> My lore is not that up to date. Some kind of crazy creature. Looked like a smithing guild there. And we've got some rocks. Okay. Ah, oh, this must be the other city. City of Stone by the looks of it. That's the uh, statue from the Mages Guild. I wonder. Beyond Skyrim. Roscria. No idea how you pronounce it, but there you go, guys. So the Beyond Skyrim team, the team that are making this mod, it's almost like an official DLC, but it's not. It's made by fans, so it's not funded. You can go and donate to them, and you can also support them in other ways. Like, for example, if you're a voice actor, if you can help them out with quests, 3D models, and stuff like that. So if you're interested in signing up, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. Go and, go and tell them what you can do, and, you know... Help them out, because these projects are awesome, and seeing them being realized, like Beyond Skyrim Bruma, which just recently came out, is like the most amazing thing ever. Check out my Let's Play of it, and just see how awesome it is, because it's incredible. So this is a map of Tamriel. Roscrea should be north from Skyrim, which is, north from Skyrim is a massive ocean, it's called the Sea of Ghosts. And the island known as Roscrea, actually we have heard about it once. Apparently it was conquered by Uriel V, the fifth emperor in the third era, so that's quite a while ago, right? And that's according to a book that you find in the game. So this book tells us that when these ships moored on the coast of Roscrea, they discovered tribes of unnaturally pale humans that were really, really tall decorated with intricate tattoos and and they'd be herding livestock and they'd probably be living off that livestock. 
Now to me, immediately, that kind of picture reminds me of the giants you find in Skyrim. You know, like really tall, really pale, they have tattoos that have symbolic meaning to their culture, and they all heard the mammoths, and you know, they eat rats and goats and stuff like that. You know, it, it kind of paints an image that these people may have been descendants of the giant folk or something from Skyrim, because they're very close by, and they're very tall, and they're pale, you know, it all, it, it all fits. And also, as the book goes on, it mentions that they speak ancient Nordic. The Legion was surprised that they could actually speak ancient Nordic, which explains the ancient Nordic temples that we saw in the video. Luckily, among the men, there are a few Nord stock that were able to converse with the natives. These people were so isolated that they didn't have like a name for their tribe, and they allowed the Empire to occupy their land. Roscrea itself does still have trade with the Empire, and it's apparently part of Solitude. It's unknown that if the island's actually been affected by the civil war in Skyrim, because when we go to the island in Beyond Skyrim Bruma, it will be based in the same time period, so we don't know if it will have any impact. My guess is probably no, because it's so isolated from the rest of the Empire. Roscrea is actually one of four different islands that make up the Forgotten Isles. Each one of these islands, I think, has a separate tribe on it, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of quests we're going to get here and what the story is here, but to be honest, I can't tell you a lot because I'm merely sort of trying to figure this out from one book they have in the game on it, but we really don't know right now. So if I'm honest, I have no idea what to expect, but I'm excited for it after playing Beyond Skyrim because that was incredible. So if you guys want to keep up to date with this project and what's going on, make sure you go and check out the Beyond Skyrim website page, which I'll link down below in the description. And you can also support them as well and give them any of the expertise or skills that you have in game development and voice acting and so on. So make sure you check that out below. And also, if you want to stay up to date on this channel, then make sure you subscribe and press the little bell icon and then YouTube will notify you whenever I release a new video about these projects to keep you up to date. But thanks very much for watching guys, my name is ESO and I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.